Hey everyone! Today we're diving、uh, literally into the world of sea turtles. The ancient ocean travelers who've been cruising Earth's seas for over 100 million years. That means these guys were around when T. Rex was stomping about. Imagine a T. Rex checking out a sea turtle shell, and the turtle just keeps going about its day, completely unbothered. There are seven species of sea turtles: green loggerhead, leatherback, hawksbill, Kemp's Ridley, olive Ridley, and flatback. All of them, awesome. All of them, facing challenges thanks to us humans. But we'll get to that part. First, let's marvel at how cool they are. Let's talk design. Sea turtles are like the sports cars of the ocean, sleek, aerodynamic, and built for long trips. Unlike land turtles, they can't pull their heads or flippers inside their shells. Nope. Sea turtles are committed to speed and style over defense. That's like wearing flip-flops to a snowball fight. Bold move. Speaking of long trips, some sea turtles are the ultimate world travelers. Leatherbacks, for example, can migrate over 10,000 miles a year. That's like swimming from New York to Sydney and back without a plane ticket, all while wearing a suit of armor that doubles as swimwear. And about that suit, leatherbacks don't even have a hard shell like other turtles. Instead, they're covered in a layer of leathery skin over bony plates, making them the softies of the turtle world. But don't be fooled; these gentle giants can grow up to seven feet long and weigh over two thousand pounds. That's bigger than your average sofa, and honestly, a lot harder to move. Now let's talk diet. Sea turtles have some specialized menus. Green turtles, strict vegetarians. They munch on seagrass like they're at an endless salad bar. Loggerheads, big fans of crunchy seafood like crabs. And leatherbacks, jellyfish connoisseurs. Imagine eating jellyfish all day and not complaining. Now that's dedication, or maybe just a lack of taste buds. And here's a fun fact: sea turtles can't chew. Instead, their jaws are shaped to crush or slice, depending on the species. Some have beak-like mouths; others have spikes inside their throats. Yes, throat spikes, which is kind of nightmare fuel to keep slippery jellyfish from escaping. So, dinner with a sea turtle? For some, probably not as polite as you're imagining. Now let's talk babies, because sea turtle hatchlings are tiny, adorable, and immediately thrown into the most dangerous day of their lives. After hatching at night, they make a mad dash to the ocean, dodging birds, crabs, raccoons, and anything else that sees baby turtle as a snack. Only about one in one thousand hatchlings make it to adulthood. Talk about tough odds. Oh. And sea turtles are pretty loyal. Females return to the exact beach where they were born to lay their own eggs. That's some serious GPS power, considering they've been gone for 20 or 30 years and spent all that time wandering the open sea. But here's the thing: sea turtles need our help. Nearly all species are endangered or threatened. Why? Well, plastic pollution. And yeah, that plastic bag floating in the ocean looks way too much like a jellyfish snack. Fishing nets, habitat loss, and climate change are all big reasons. Even beachfront lights can confuse hatchlings, leading them away from the ocean instead of toward it. Imagine thinking you're heading for water, but ending up in a hotel lobby. Not good. That's why we have World Sea Turtle Day on June 16th. To remind us that these ancient mariners need us to be better stewards of their ocean home. The good news: people all over the world are working to protect nesting beaches, clean up plastics, and develop turtle-friendly fishing gear. So, the next time you see a sea turtle, in real life, on a documentary, or even in a cartoon, give a nod to one of Earth's oldest and most incredible survivors. They've been gliding through the seas since the age of dinosaurs. 
Let's make sure they're still swimming strong for millions of years to come. Thanks for watching.